and welcome to BNI Heartland Football Week 8 Highlights. I'm your host, Ray Hughes. And I'm your host, Brandon Suba. Brandon, are you ready for football this week? Well, I'm ready for football every week. So let's head on out to the court for our first conference of Building Relationships. This was Red Hot Referrals in Sioux Falls, South Dakota versus Success Unlimited in Gillette, Wyoming. Well, Red Hot Referrals had two visitors giving them six points. Success Unlimited found one visitor to bring in. That gives them that field goal for three points, but nothing else to put on the board for them there. Going to fall a little short in this one. It's Red Hot Referrals 6, Success Unlimited 3. Well, after that smooth backswing, let's head on over to Giver's Gain. This was Seward County in Seward, Nebraska. Chalk that up for one. Versus Elite Referral Partners in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Well, Seward County had all members accounted for in their meeting, but they also added one more new member to give them 15 points. Elite Referral Partners able to get everybody in the seats as well. That touchdown for perfect attendance is theirs, but nothing else to add to the board for either new members or visitors. Going to leave them also falling a little short in this one. Final, Seward County 15, Elite Referral Partners Seven. Well, while we wait for that moon ball to come on down, let's check out the next conference of Lifelong Learning. This was Cloud Peak Business in Sheridan, Wyoming versus Tuesday Afternoon in Lincoln, Nebraska. Well, Cloud Peak had all the members there, giving them that, which we talk about so much perfect attendance, resulting in seven points. Not wanting to sound like a broken record here, but Tuesday Afternoon in Lincoln also having everybody show up. That 100% attendance touchdown is theirs. Nothing else to add to the board. This one then going to wind up deadlocked. We have a tie. Cloud Peak Business 7, Tuesday afternoon 7. Well, with that match standing a deuces, let's go ahead and head on over to the next conference of tradition plus innovation. This was County Four Connectors in Rock Springs, Wyoming, who is having a great season thus far with building bridges in Sioux City, Iowa. Well, County Four Connectors kept it going with two visitors at the meeting, resulting in six points. Building Bridges had a rough start to their season, but have been on fire a little bit lately. They brought in a visitor, but more importantly, they added one new member. That gives them the touchdown and two-point conversion there, and enough to win the game. The final on this one is Building Bridges 11, County Four Connectors 6. Well, they kind of got knocked off their high horse there, didn't they? Brandon, there are no horses in football. Well, just like a good volley, let's hit on the last conference of Positive Attitude. This was Carney Lunch in Carney, Nebraska, chalk up to two, uh, with against High Plains in Cheyenne, Wyoming. Well, Carney Lunch sure had a busy game. They had one visitor, all members accounted for. They referred a visitor to another chapter, but not only that, they have referred a visitor that ended up joining another chapter, resulting in 21 points. High Plains and Cheyenne had two visitors at their meeting this week, but nothing else to add to that. Hard to keep up with an active chapter like that Carney Lunch group was doing there. So the final on this one is Carney Lunch 21, High Plains 6. Going to take a moment to look at some other highlights throughout our BNI Heartland territory this week. High scores this week, Carney Lunch did it with 21 points. We told you how they scored that there. But another chapter did that as well. Congratulations going out to Let's Do Lunch in Omaha, Nebraska as well, also putting up 21 points this week. Brandon, how do we do with perfect attendance? Well, if you're keeping track like I am, we are one short of perfect attendance as we were last week, which is 16 chapters had perfect attendance. Speaking of 16 chapters, give us those conference highlights, Ray. I don't know what 16 has to do with it, Brandon, but we do have a few changes in the conference leaders this week. In the Givers Gang Conference, no change there, though. Multiply your profits in Omaha, Nebraska, still on top, six and one record there. In the Building Relationships Conference, we've got a tie. Circles of Influence in Casper and Network Connections out of Omaha, all knotted up for the lead there. In the Lifelong Learning Conference, Cloud Peak in Sheridan still undefeated and on top at 6-0-1. In the Traditions Plus Innovation Conference, it's County Four Connectors out of Rock Springs leading there. And finally, in the Positive Attitude Conference, the Omaha Lunch Corps group also still undefeated. They're 5-0-2 and, and leading their conference there. All right, so is that the Omaha Lunch Corps group in Omaha? Yes. So that makes three chapters with the name of their location in the name in this report today. I think you're the only one keeping track of that record. I have a spreadsheet. 
<laughs> Talking about keeping track of your numbers, it's important to get your results submitted to us here for BNI Heartland Football. Deadline for that is Fridays at 2 p.m. Make sure you fill out the survey and get those results in so we can count things up and be ready to go and with you here next week. Thank you for watching BNI Heartland Football. We'll see you next week. So I play tennis on the weekends with my friend. His name is Sven. And that's why we're talking tennis all here. No, oh no, we're done for the season. We haven't played for weeks.